Hello, good morrow, seniors. Hey, this is your first senior specific get started video from me. Um, you're going to get a lot of these this year because senior year is big. All years are big, but you guys are in a year where you're going to be transitioning soon to adults. Some of you legally are adults, but we're going to get to the finish line together. Um, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite things at Minarets today, and that is the Senior Legacy Experience. I think this might be the uh, 10th or 11th year that we've been doing this, and each year we've kind of refined, improved, gotten better, um, and we're excited about that. This year does present some challenges, I know, but I actually truly think that uh, this is a year where... Um, that we can get a little bit more creative like we always have been. And I'll get into that specifically here. But if you're uh, in a place where you can really focus, maybe take some notes, start planning. I'm gonna go over the SLE process. I'm gonna show you a link at the end and that will give you some web-based uh, resources. So we have a website, uh, we have a SLE example website, we have a senior website and uh, an SLE kind of guideline website. So Google sites, all these things. So um, that will give you something to go back to if you have questions, but we want you to feel like you're ready to get started. Some of you have been reaching out already. Some of you have been wondering if it's going on. Yes, SLE is still going on. So here we go. So the SLE is a long tradition at Minarets. It's one of our rite of passage process projects that uh, we like to call it. Um, so an SLE essentially is something that you're going to be doing on your own. And when I say that, I don't mean you're not going to get help. You're going to have mentors. You're going to get help. What I mean is you're doing that outside the context of class. So there's not going to be class time where you're working on this, whether we're in distance learning or in person. This is something that's self-paced. You do this on your own. You find time. It's kind of part of our transition to being a professional. You schedule that time out. Now, if you need help, if you need us to guide you, if you need to reach out to me, Mr. Wilson, the counselors, teachers, absolutely, we'll find time. But this is really geared towards you driving the whole process. Um, so what is a senior legacy experience? Uh, really, this is a reflection on everything you've learned up to this point. Every, all the skills that you've gained, um, all the experiences that you had. So really, your SLE shouldn't be something that's a complete departure from what you've been doing the last four years, six years, eight years, um, 13 years. Uh, it should be something that you have developed over time. So if you've been in athletics, it could be related to athletics. If you've been into art, it could be related to art. If you're in one of our CTE pathways like welding, maybe it has to do with that. But it should be that. It shouldn't be outside of that. It's bigger than any project you've done before. So this should be your big project, your biggest thing that you've accomplished. The idea is that we're, do, we're going to be promoting, we're going to be collaborating, we're going to be communicating, and we're going to be executing. It, consider yourself the planner and the executor and the brains behind this whole thing. Um, you're Especially now at distance learning, this is going to require an online presence. It already does in our our regular version of SLE, but you really should have a social media presence, an online presence, a virtual presence of what your project is. The definition of the uh, senior legacy, and let me just take it off of our website here. The senior legacy experience is the culminating project of a Minaret student's high school career. They will take all they have learned combined with something that matters to them to make an impact on the community, local, state, nation, world. So uh, along with the skills that you developed, this really should come from something that you're passionate about. Okay, So um, in a lot of cases, that could be some nonprofit work or charity or something like that. But a lot of times kids get confused and think, oh, it's got to be a charity. It could, but it should be connected with something you're passionate about. So um, for me, I'll, I'll show you an example uh, a little bit later, but for me, it could be, uh, I'm really passionate about community service and community involvement. So 
uh, my and I am good at let's just say I'm good at filmmaking so I would maybe do a media based project that is connected to doing something for the community that's kind of vague but uh, maybe you have a tie with um, somebody that has battled cancer maybe you have a tie with fundraising for uh, your local church and your church is trying to build a new church or something that you really feel compelled to make a difference in that's how it should be connected some kids struggle with that because they're like I, i'm interested in some things but i don't really have that one passionate thing that's okay um, you just got to find something you're interested in because if you're not interested in it by the time you're done you're going to be completely sick of this so make sure that it holds some kind of um, interest so the details um you the ultimate project or way you're going to present this is a video based presentation um, <clears throat> and uh, that's going to be at the end and you'll have a website too a google site we'll walk you through how to do that so you'll have a video at the very end of all this but you're actually your first step this year is also a video so there are really kind of three major components uh, of the sle you have the proposal you have the plan and then you have the presentation, which includes a video in your Google site. So the first part, proposal, is usually done in person with a three-person panel. Um, this time around, we're going to have you do it via video and submit it to us, and we'll actually watch that video. Okay. So <clears throat> I will be sending out a form in the next couple of weeks with an opportunity for you to give us your proposal um, via video, via YouTube. So all students will upload their video proposal to YouTube and paste it in that link that I send out when I send it out. This is going to be due on September 25th. So hopefully that doesn't cause you to freak out because the proposal is, is not a huge project. There's, some, there's a few different layers, and I'll go over those today. Um, but that gives you a few weeks to really pull this together and do this. Uh, if you need help, if you need ideas, you can reach out to us, email us. Um, but really, this is just you giving an attempt at this is what I'd like to do. That's all. That's that's what you'll get graded on. And the grade will be in English. Um, so let me walk through what this uh, process is going to look like. <clears throat> the video could be you on screen like now, this, or like with me um, talking. It could be a mixture, so you can throw some keynote images in there while you're talking, flash them up like you're seeing in this video. Um, or it could just be a voiceover of your keynote. So whatever you're comfortable with, um, if you don't like showing your face a lot, you actually don't have to for this proposal. We do want to hear your voice, but it's your, it's really your uh, choice as far as that goes. Okay, so let me go over... Uh, what the slides, well, actually first. So after the proposal, if you are marked green on our spreadsheet, we're going to contact you and that'll mean you're good to go. You can start kind of planning this SLE. If you're marked yellow, we'll let you know. And that basically means that uh, there's a couple of things you need to change, adapt, adjust, then you'll be good. If you're marked red, that means you've really got to come up with a new idea. And there's a lot of reasons for this, and we'll talk about some of those reasons. Um, but that's really just kind of redirecting you completely. This is an experience versus a project. So what's the difference? You hear project a lot, um, but this is an experience. It's supposed to be ongoing. The idea is that it wouldn't just be one day and you're done, like just a one-time event and then you're done. There's planning up to it, even if you were to do an event, which this year obviously is going to be a little bit difficult unless it's online. But you're planning up to it, you're doing the event, and there's some lasting legacy behind it that some that the school could benefit from, the community, maybe a student behind you. It's culminating. It's not a one and done. And this is really the measurement of your journey. And it is professional. That's the idea. So let me go over uh, the proposal itself because that's what's due first, okay? So um, the proposal itself has a few different layers. The proposal, uh, obviously, you'll have a co cover page with your name of your SLE, title, give it a fancy title, as you see mine here, and your name. 
then you're going to do an SLE description. And with the SLE description, we want you to be as specific as possible. Okay, so um, we want you to go into detail uh, what what your goal basically is in doing this. It, it could be a multifaceted goal. Um, the date, location, tools, etc. How it's going to be done. Um, what the specifics of you know what's involved, uh, what you're going to need. How does it connect to something you're passionate about? So you can talk about your uh, maybe your history with that particular um, area that you're addressing or the specific project that you're working on. And maybe there's a story that you could tell with that. What will you need to accomplish this goal? So who, what, um, who you'll need, what you'll need um, to get this done. And then who your mentors are going to be. Now, it doesn't require a teacher mentor, but we typically will assign one just so you stay connected with the school, but it depends on the project, really. And then uh, well, how are you going to measure your success? So you state your goals, but how are you actually going to um, decide whether or not it was successful or not? Because there is a reflection portion of this project. So that that's basically it, just those slides. That's the proposal. So um, hopefully now you're feeling like, okay, September 25th isn't as bad as I thought. Um, so we'll get back to you on that. Of course, we'd love to do these in person, but um, that's that's all we're going to get this year. So, um, But that's the proposal that's going to be due on September 25th. So let me go over some myths of the SLE. So the first myth that you often see is that SLEs have to raise money. That's not true. Uh, I mean, no matter how much I say it every year, I get those questions, but that's not true. SLEs have to give to charity. So in the past, we had a lot of instances where kids were just doing events to give to charity and they called it an SLE. It's really not the idea that we want you to do. It could be, and that's a great thing to give to charity, no doubt. But if you're doing a car wash for, you know, Susan B. Komen Foundation, well, that's just a splash in the bucket. And like, what's your connection to that? And why are you doing a car wash? Is that really your um, highest skill level? So those, that's another myth. Flyers are effective promotions. So hanging up flyers all around. Um, at one time, that quite possibly could have been effective. This day and age, social media, email, calling, those are all way better. Uh, maybe journal, um, press coverage, those are all way better methods. Um, and the last one is if I don't do one, I'll, you know, like I'll still get to be in the graduation ceremony. I'll just, I'll just pick up trash on the side of the road and um, that kind of thing. Those are all myths of SLEs. So a lot of folks must one, you know, be wondering, okay, how are we going to really pull this off in these times? First of all, we don't know how long this is going to be our context being off campus. We hope um, we're back together sooner rather than later. But like I said, we're really doing a mind shift on the SLE. I personally feel that maybe this is even more important of a time for you to accomplish an SLE because you basically are out in the real world. You're a senior. Um, your parents aren't holding your hand on everything. You're Some of you are working um, and you're going to be applying to colleges and things like that and you have to have a lot of autonomy in this case. So for me, I think, for us, we think that this is even more important maybe of a time to do your SLE. Um, so... We have to get creative, okay? Um, it's easy to, and I shouldn't say it's easy, but it's kind of a simplistic way to look at it if you're like, I'm just going to do this event. A lot of kids identify events that have been done in the past, like, I'm just going to do that event, that's going to be my SLE. Well, we don't really have that option because there are no events planned right now. They're all on hold until uh, restrictions are lifted. So you really have to think about, um, A, can I do an event that's not in person? Or B, I mean, is an event worth it at all? Should I do something completely different? Should I write a book? Should I make a full-length film or documentary? Should I build a website that would benefit somebody? Should I um, do something that's a bridge to my next career, like an internship or something like that? Should I build something that I have the capability to build at, you know, at home, at uh, somewhere else? You know, do you have an opportunity to do those things that aren't tied to an event? I believe this is a time... And SLEs could get really good. 
So going over some SLE fa failures, the procrastinator is what we call it. That's when you delay, you keep putting it off, keep putting it off, and try to pull it together at the end. Too many ideas, but no execution. So we don't like people coming in saying, I have three SLEs. That's great. Just make one of them your SLE. The piggybacker, that's when somebody swoops in and teams up with you. Uh, or the leech, they jump on and they just, they don't do any work, but they get all the uh, benefits. Um, so those two, really, I mean, there's, unless it's done virtually, I mean, being in teams is going to be a little bit more difficult. So I, I, I love collaboration. That's one of our C's. But in this instance, uh, it might be a better thing to just do that SLE on your own and then ask for help, not as an SLE, but just as friends collaborating, helping each other out. Um, the replicator, that's just taking something that's been done in the past and just doing it over again. That's not the definition of an SLE. Uh, the sneak through, that's one where like maybe you already did something in the past or or uh, your parents are already doing something and you just call it your own and you sneak it through as your SLE. And then there's uh, what we call the Moses, which is you make all these huge promises. I'm going to part the Red Sea um, and it's this huge task and it doesn't happen. So like if you're going to build a second gym for us or something like that, it's going to take a lot longer than, than a few months to pull that off. So those are all things that you want to avoid, those type of personas or approaches. Um, we won't go too much over the off limits because most of them have to do with in-person activities. Um, so I don't, we're not going to really have to deal with any of those things. But we really want you to avoid deflating. We want you. We want to avoid this temptation to like start off really strong and then just fade out like a like a dying balloon that you see up on the hill that floated away. Right. Um, <clears throat> if you have anything related to money. Uh, we are going to go over some of that later on, but it has to go through Autumn Alford. Um, and you can at any time come to the office to drop stuff off. Um, we'll do a little bit, bit of a video as it pertains to money, and we're going to blast that out to you guys here in the coming weeks. But we don't want people uh, collecting and holding money. That's not allowed. There's a whole process for this. Um, so if it has to do with money, it has to go through foundation or it has to go through our office. And even if it goes through foundation, we want it to go through our office. So uh, that's not this video. That's a different video. But keep that in mind. <clears throat> Just want to touch, lastly, on uh, senior advancement process. That is going to happen still. Uh, we're not going to go over that quite yet right now because that's more of kind of a early spring activity and it's an exit interview process and kind of a culminating presentation, kind of like a PBE for seniors with a little bit more layers to it. Um, so we'll touch on that later, but if you're wondering if you're going to do the SAP, that is still going to be a part of it. Um, and we'll keep you in the loop as that moves forward. So you saw it the other day in the breakfast burrito drive through we do have a senior website that we're building. Um, we are still building it because it's the first year we're doing it. So if, if the information is not all there, just reach out. But here's the link right here. And you guys feel free to, to visit that to get really specific information. That's your overview. So September 25th, that's when we need that link out. I will be sending the Google form. Um, if you need help with video formatting, I'm also going to do a little bit of a tutorial here in a couple in a couple of weeks on how to do that. Most of you do know how to do that, um, but that should be helpful, and everyone should be prepared to post that as a YouTube link in the coming weeks. So, seniors, we're excited. I'm really excited to see what kind of creative ideas that you have that you've come up with in light of our current context. I think this is going to be the best SLE year so far because it's going to be the most creative and. Uh, I think that you guys are a little bit more inspired because you're kind of like already in the adult world, like I said. So with that, we'll talk to you soon. I'll be touching base with you soon. Seniors, we love you. Class of 2021. Go big, go pro, go now, and go seniors.